Good morning. So just checking that you can hear me okay. Very good. Thank you. Welcome. Ah, so here we are in spring, and I am wanting to focus today on opening space and how we make space for all of the different things that are going on inside and around us all of the time. And uh, I want to do that with our loops and scoops practice, but also with our integrity card today. And they just kind of coordinated themselves. You know how when you just open up to, let me just pick the card that's gonna be most appropriate. And so I did that and it turned out to be right in alignment with what I was wanting to share. So that always lets me know I'm, I know I'm in harmony with the way things want to go. And that's also one of the purposes of doing loops and scoops is to get into not only harmony, but if harmony isn't possible because sometimes things are kind of dissonant, am I in harmony with myself? Am I in alignment with what's going on inside me? And how can I use that alignment to allow me to create space both inside me and around me? So what I'd like you to, to do is to just notice right now where you feel a spaciousness inside and where you feel more contracted or flat or dense. And I'd like you to notice how you're noticing. So sometimes when I, uh, in previous years, when I would ask somebody to notice, like notice your feet, they would just notice their feet from in, by looking at them. So what if you could now notice your feet with your attention from inside, giving your attention to your feet? And when you give your attention to your feet, I'd like you to now notice what happens to your breath. Because very often we have those two things at opposite ends of a continuum. I can breathe, but when I give my attention to something else, my breathing stops. So I'd like you to now notice some other place in your body where you're experiencing spaciousness. And so for me, for one of the first times in a long time, I'm experiencing spaciousness in my belly, which feels really wonderful. So I'm giving my attention to that. And as you're giving attention to a place where you feel space, notice what happens to your breath. So I like to get into the habit of letting my breath create space and my attention be creating space. And then my breath and my attention are kind of dancing together. And I can notice where I drop my attention and I can notice where I drop my breath. So now I'd like you to shift giving your attention to just the space around you. And I'd like you to let yourself first notice where things seem more condensed or tight or not very spacious. Or in my case, I'm looking at this cabinet that is like clutter central where things have been put in there for like the last month. And when I look at that, I notice that my breath stops. So I'm looking at where there's not space and then my breath stops and then I bring my attention back to me and I notice that I'm looking at that judgmentally. So when I give my attention with judgment, it stops my breath. I stop my breath when I look judgmentally. So let yourself practice and see what happens for you. Look at another place that's, you know, like more condensed, tighter. Give your attention to that. That is actually let your attention land on it. And then notice what happens to your breath. But see, now that we're fooling with it and we're going, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my attention and I'm going to notice my attention, our intention to do that creates more awareness. So that's one of the big functions of loop of awareness is that it creates more awareness. And then when you have more awareness, you create more choice. 
So now notice outside of you someplace that seems spacious to you. It has a lot of space and let your attention land on a place just in the little the space around you that has space within it. Let your attention land on that and then notice what happens to your breath. And notice if the way that you're using your breath feels different than the way that when you were looking for con, you know, condensed, tighter, not so spacious. So the giving your attention and then noticing your breath also creates a loop of awareness. So I'm looking outside and I notice something and then I give attention to me and notice my breath. So that in itself is a complete loop of awareness. So let's take that back inside again. And I'd like you to notice inside your body someplace where when, you, when you're scanning, it feels more spacious to you. And let your attention land on that. And notice how you land. Like, you know, is it a parachute landing or is it a thunk? Like one of, one of our cats... Uh, Greta, she's learning how to do a flopsy, which is turning over and so she can be petted. But she does a tree falling flopsy. She just kind of goes thunk over on the side. So that's a whole different way of landing than uh, Allie does a sort of a bustle bustle and then she just kind of rolls over. So notice inside you, how does your attention land? And when you're landing on a spacious part of you, like I'm feeling some spaciousness under my collarbones and my, I'm landing on that kind of like mist in the morning. So it can also give you a sense of all of the different ways that you can use your attention, that you can let your attention land. So when your attention is landed, Notice how that impacts your breath. Does that make a difference in the way that you are experiencing your breath? And now let your attention go to some other place in your body where you're experiencing space. And then let yourself notice what happens to your breath. So you're now doing a kind of internal loop you're giving your attention to your a body sensation and then you're, give, you're landing on it and then you're noticing your breathing. So now I want to expand this a little bit. We're going to go to stage two, which is noticing inside you first a place that feels tense and let your attention land on that. And see if you can let it land with a hmm, hmm, so that it shifts you into some curiosity. And then notice how you're breathing. Great. And then notice uh, a spacious place in you. And notice your breathing. And then another tight place in you, letting it land. So I'm going to the back of my neck right now, left side, letting my attention land. And this is kind of parachuting in. And then I'm noticing that I took a longer out breath. And then I'm wanting a bigger in breath. And now I want you to let your attention move between those two places in you. So giving your attention to the tight place and then giving your attention to the spacious place. And then letting your attention just move from one to the other. Just kind of very easily. Yeah, and if it assists you to let your body move with that, any way that your body wants to move always is welcome. 
And notice if you can let your breath move between the two so that you're making space by letting your attention flow from a tight place to, to an open place and letting your breath move between those. And I find when I'm breathing and moving together, it really amplifies my experience of being able to include all of the different facets of what's going on in me. Mm, so just notice how you're experiencing that. And then I'd like you to give your attention to some place that's just a little bit further outside of you than the space immediately around you. So I have windows so I can look out and see into the distance, but you know, or down the hall or just further in the room. And I'd like you to notice, first of all, notice a place that seems sort of tight or cluttered or dense and let your attention land on that. And then see if you can find a place nearby where when you look at it, it appears spacious to you. And let your attention land on that. And notice your breathing. And let your attention shift from the dense space to the open space while noticing your breath. And just do that for a little bit. One thing I notice is that when I look at the dense place, my breath feels more effortful. It's like I'm, okay, I can breathe, but I'm making myself breathe more fully. And then when I give my attention to the spacious place, my breath gets spacious, right? And as I'm giving my attention, I notice that my breath is spacious. So let yourself just play with that for a minute or so of looking at the dense place, notice your breathing, looking at including the open space, notice your breathing. And back and forth. Mm, and then play with your own way of weaving so that you're able to include both. You're including both the dense space and the open space with your breathing and maybe with your body. And I'm noticing that I'm just including, I'm not trying to improve or change. I'm presencing and noticing and just welcoming. Oh, that's how you are. Oh, that's how I am. Hmm, I can be with that. Hmm, beautiful. And then if there's more space that opens up in you, so let your attention go to you now for noticing first a tight place and then noticing your breath and then noticing an open space and noticing your breath and then let the loop go back and forth from the tight place to the open place with your breathing, including your breathing. And I notice it's almost impossible for me to do that without having some kind of movement, some kind of shifting that wants to happen in my body. And if you notice that, just go ahead and follow that. It may be big or small. So sometimes the internal movements that feel very tiny have a really big impact, have a really big positive impact. So notice right now if there's any other place in you that's calling for your attention, like, hey, me, 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 you forgot me. Like my, my left uh, sacrum is going, hey, me, 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 me. So I'm now going to give my attention to my left sacrum. I'm going to land on that. I'm going to let my breath come into that place. Ooh, and that really opened up my in-breath even more. So attention creates presence, presence creates more choice, 
and more choice creates more aliveness and connection. So I invite you this week to play with including tight places, open places, playing with each other, with your breath and with your attention. Yes, beautiful. Mm. 